Hi guys! Are you tired of battling with frustrating network dead zones or connectivity issues while trying to extend your network to another location? Today we received a case from one of our customers and let's see what happened to him. Our customer Andrew wants to extend the reach of his network to the location where his internet service terminates. He's planning to pull 130 meters Cat 5E Ethernet cables between two switches. The switches are also on the same network, so the internet to the firewall data will be on a separate VLAN. And the question is, what kind of extender tool can he use to suitable for cover the 130 meters distance in this scenario? And whether you're working on a network infrastructure, IoT solution, or any other technology project, we've got you covered. You can maximize your potential and ensure efficiency with professionally designed system by just sending us your questions through the link down in the description box. One of the challenges faced by our customer is the need to extend internet connectivity to distance location within outdoor areas. So PoE connection often struggle with distance limitation of 100 meters. And since Andrew has to connect to another switch that exceeds 100 meters, PoE extender tool is needed. That's why we recommend the Gigabit PoE extender, which is the ideal technology to conquer the obstacles of seamless internet extension and offer a cost-effective and reliable means to achieve high-speed data transmission across extended distances. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and we build a PoE connection based on our customer scenario using this 2-port AO2.3 BT PoE extender. Now by placing this extender between two switches can easily break PoE extender limitation with plug and play feature, even at harsh outdoor environment due to its distinguished waterproof and rug design. It helps repeat data and transmit power in cables to extend for another 100 meters. That is more than enough in our customer's case, which is 130 meters, and supports 60 watts AO2.3 BT standard, so it is capable of supply maximum of 30 watts output power and 1000 megabit per second data transfer rate. With aluminum IK10 vandal proof housing and IP67 waterproof rated, Andrew is able to directly bury this under the ground if needed. But then it brings up another concern by Andrew, since in his case, the internet to the firewall data will be on a separate VLAN. So he's wondering, can the PoE extender be capable of allowed VLAN tagged packets? The answer is yes. The PoE extender allows VLAN tag pass through transparently. Actually, it does not even open the packet. It just forward whatever it received, and this means that PoE extender do not modify or remove the VLAN tag from the packet as they pass through, ensuring that the VLAN segmentation is maintained throughout the whole connection. And now, let's do the connection together. First, we are going to connect the router to our 24-port Manage PoE switch. Using the Manage PoE switch because our customer is using the VLAN segmentation. Next, I'm going to use a 100 meters Ethernet cable here to connect to the switch. So it can provide PoE and data at the same time to our PoE extender. Let's connect it. As you can see, this PoE extender has a special mounting tool. You can mount it on a DIN rail easily. Let's connect it here. And connect to another 100 Ethernet cable. Here we go. And mount it back on the DIN rail. As you can see, the indicator light is on. It's also receiving the power. Next, I'm going to connect the other 100 meters Ethernet cable to another managed PoE switch. 
last but not least, use a short patch cord to connect our switch to a wireless access point. As you can see, the indicated light is getting on. It's receiving power and the data at the same time. So the whole connection is pretty easy, right? And here's some more additional information about PoE connection. First, power requirement. Power requirement of PoE devices depend on the PoE standard used and the specific power needs of the device being powered. It has IEEE 802.3 AF, AT, and BT standard. AF standard provides 15.4 watts power output. AT standard provides up to 30 watts of power output. And BT standard provides 60 and up to 90 watts power output. Next, choose pure copper cable like the Cat5e or Cat6 because pure copper has superior conductivity compared to other materials so it can provide reliable connectivity. Last but not least, environmental consideration. If you're putting your devices outdoor, make sure you choose IP waterproof rated devices. For our extender, if you want to bury it under the ground, before you do it, make sure you use a wrench here to fasten up the neck and the gland tightly. And if you only want data extension, the fiber optic cabling is alternative. Fiber optic network can realize high bandwidth and extreme long distance up to 20 kilometers. So you can like and subscribe our channel Fast Cabling to gain more solution about network extension.